Hi everyone, this is Cody with OmniMedic Solutions. Thanks so much for checking out our video. Today we're doing a demonstration video of our latest app for iPhone and for Android powered devices called CPR Metronome. Well, without any delays, let's dive into it and I'll show you how it works. So this is the home, home screen and the only screen for CPR Metronome. Just like all of the rest of our apps, I like simple, quick, and easy because if I'm going to use an app on an emergency scene, I don't have time to dig through a whole bunch of menus and look at a bunch of bells and whistles and, and a bunch of frills of things. So as we all know, the research that's most recently come out on CPR is telling us that all of the ACLS stuff that we do, the epi, the vasopressin, uh, all the things that we do really don't make as much of a difference in the outcome in out of hospital cardiac arrest as one thing and that one thing is good high quality uninterrupted chest compressions with good recoil. Chest compressions at a rate of at least 100 per minute is going to give your patient the best chance of survival. Now, the, So that's a big problem in out-of-hospital CPRs is that we either don't compress fast enough or we interrupt compressions way too frequently. The other problem that we often have in out-of-hospital CPRs is that we bag the patient way too fast. So CPR Metronome was designed to address both of those issues as well as to give you one more piece of information that's very important. We all know that as soon as we roll in the doors of the ER and we hit the trauma room, the first question that the ER doctor is going to ask is, how long have we been doing CPR? As you can see, there's a timer on CPR metronome so that you know exactly how long you've been doing CPR whenever you hit the doors. So the idea behind CPR metronome is, we'll say that you get dispatched on an unconscious, unresponsive patient, pull out your phone, load up CPR metronome and get it ready to go. Then whenever you walk up and you make patient contact, tap the start button. And here's what you get. Now then, I'm not gonna talk over the metronome feature of it, but you get the idea. Those clicks that you hear are timed to give you 110 clicks per minute. If you compress at that rate, that will ensure that you're, you're getting 110 beats per minute of com worth of compressions to your patient. If you also notice, you've got a bell that sounds ever so often. And that bell means it's time to bag the patient. That bell is set, it's currently set to 12 breaths per minute. We're actually gonna back it down to where soon it will be 10 breaths per minute so that you know when to bag the patient so that we don't bag the patient too fast. Now then, I've had several people that have said, yeah, that." that loud clicking noise is kind of obnoxious when you're on a scene. I realize that. The whole point of that loud clicking noise being kind of obnoxious when you're on a scene is this. Whenever you stop compressions for whatever reason to move the patient, maybe to put in an advanced airway, you have to keep in mind for every second that you're not compressing, you're losing all of the hard work that you've done up until that point because that pump, that heart, is losing its prime and you have to reprime the heart once you get going with your next set of compressions. So the whole idea behind that really obnoxious loud clicking sound is to tell you, hey guys, you need to get back on the chest as quickly as possible and get back in the rhythm and keep pumping as quickly as possible. So you notice that it starts and stops the clock every time you hit start and stop so that you can stop it for a rhythm check, you can stop it for uh, you know, legitimate reasons that you may need to stop for. But the idea is don't stop compressions until you get to the hospital. Keep on pumping hard, fast, and deep the whole time. Whenever you get done, you can reset the timer and start all over again. It's pretty simple, it's pretty easy. Now then, most of the rest of our apps on the app stores are paid apps. I made CPR Metronome a free app. I believe in CPR, high quality CPR, that much that I'm giving this app out to you guys for free in hopes of getting it in as many providers' hands as possible because that's how much I believe in high quality CPR. The one thing that I'll ask that you do is to use the link and visit our webpage. Be sure to check out our webpage, omnimedicsolutions.com. And I would also ask that that you consider purchasing one of our other apps. Now then, this app cost me quite a bit of money to develop, 
But again, I'm willing to eat that cost because that's how much I believe in high quality CPR. I ask that you consider purchasing one of our other apps to help me offset some of the development costs for CPR Metronome. Again, it's CPR Metronome. It's available on the iTunes App Store as well as Google Play for Android powered devices. Be sure to check out our webpage, omnimedicsolutions.com. Be sure to like and visit our Facebook page, facebook.com slash omnimedicsolutions. As always, take care. Thanks for watching and be safe out there.